I like big book hauls and I cannot lie. Those other brothers can't deny. When a girl walks in with a big bookcase and shows them to your face, you get... It's Zoe or read by Zoe. My birthday was a couple of days ago. I turned 20 years old. I feel very old just saying that. I don't know why, but the difference between 19 and 20s is just so drastic. I'm in my 20s now. I'm an adult and it feels so weird so to console myself I got myself some books let's get started the first couple of things that I want to share with you all I actually got when I was still in London so that was a couple of months ago Wow that time flies guys my dad came right after my program was over and we went to the Harry Potter studios I was there actually with my school before that, but then I went again because it was so much fun. And I got two things. The first thing that I got was Luna's wand. It's so pretty. There's a little, ooh, there's a little tulip on the base of it, and I just think it is so pretty. I was going to get Hermione's wand, but I have little baby hands, and Hermione's wand was just way too long for my hands. This is just perfect size for me and it's really cute. I can cast magic in my spare time because I have one now. I also got the seventh Harry Potter book in the new UK edition. I got the first Harry Potter book. It's over there the first time that I went to the Harry Potter studios and it has this little gold seal saying that I got it at the Warner Brothers studio tour in London. It's so cute. I really like the UK editions. I like the US editions, but these are really nice. I have so much Harry Potter stuff over there on that shelf. I have an entire shelf dedicated to Harry Potter stuff, but I don't feel bad at all having multiple copies of Harry Potter. There's no such thing as too many books or too much Harry Potter stuff. Those go hand in hand. Now on to the actual birthday haul. I didn't get all of these on my birthday. Do not be scared for my health. I got two Lunar Chronicles books. There is Winter and Stars Above. I actually already purchased Winter, which was in my last book haul, but that was a paperback UK edition. It was pretty flimsy because this book is over 800 pages, so it was destroyed when I brought it home from London. Stars Above just came out and it is a collection of nine short stories. Winter, winter right here, ended way too quickly all of a sudden and this hopefully maybe will clear some things up. The next book I got was Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I already read this and it was fantastic. I am going to make a review video in the next couple of weeks because I have so much to say about this book. I got it right after I watched the trailer for the movie that's going to come out in June. I read it within 24 hours of purchasing it. Next I got The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Ad. Adi, I have heard fantastic things about this book, particularly from my friend Claire who was in London with me. She read it and loved it and told me I had to go and get it and read it, so I finally bought it. It's inspired by A Thousand and One Nights and that already sounds amazing. Also, I love this cover. Look at that. Look at her. She looks like she's gonna kick some butt. Then I got Where'd You Go, Bernadette by Maria Semple. This follows a 15-year-old girl named Bee, and she has perfect grades, so she wants to go to Antarctica with her mother. But before they go, Bee is trying to piece together her mom's life. Her mom's life before she had Bee. And apparently it's really funny. On the back, it also says that the author wrote for Arrested Development, and I love that show, so I really think that this will be really good. Then I got Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. This is the first book in a fantasy series and it's been all over booktube. I finally decided to pick it up because I've been in a major fantasy mood lately and this is supposed to be all about magic and there's a war going on and four people come together to fight against the war to against one another and the rise of Elementia, the magic that can topple kingdoms and crown a ruler in the same day. Ooh, so they're fighting against each other and there's a war and there's magic. A lot of things, but it already sounds really good. The quote on the front also says, Fallen Kingdoms will gut you emotionally. It will make you ache, cry, and beg for the sequel as you turn the last page. I love books that gut me emotionally. Those are the best books. If I don't feel dead at the end of a book, it wasn't a really good one. Then I 
was sent a book by Penguin Random House, who were actually sponsoring this video, and they sent me Find Her by Lisa Gardner. This book follows Flora Dane, who was actually kidnapped seven years ago when she was on spring break and held for 472 days. After she gets free, she learns how to protect herself and other women from predators like the one that captured her, and she kind of becomes obsessed with other missing persons cases, especially this one named Stacy Summers who is in college. But one day Flora goes missing again, and a detective named Dee Dee Warren realizes that the predator who took her this time is determined not to let her go, not to let her free. Oh, so it is up to him to try and find her before anything goes wrong. This is a psychological thriller and I love that genre of book, so I am very excited to get further on in this book. I'm already a few chapters in and I really enjoy it so far, I really enjoy the writing. I need to know what happened to Flora and who she is and what's happening already. I am absolutely pumped for this book. Thank you so much Penguin Random House for sending this to me. A few weeks ago I asked you all on Twitter, at Red by Zoe, by the way, if you want to follow me on Twitter, but I asked you all on Twitter if you had any underhyped book recommendations that you wanted to recommend to me. Thank you so much for sending them to me, and I looked at all of them, and I picked a few that I was interested in. The first one is Time Between Us by Tamara Ireland Stone, and this is about time travel, and it is a romance. Ha! Huh, ha! Huh. So excited! Anna lives in 1995 Chicago, and Bennett lives in 2012 San Francisco, but he can travel in time, and I guess they meet, and they fall in love, but can they be? I don't know. I'm going to have to read it. I also got The Thirteenth Tale by Diane Setterfield. This is about an author named Vita Winter who has spent the last six decades writing alternate lives for herself. Twelve! alternate lives for herself, but finally she decides to write the 13th tale, which is actually her real story, but it's extraordinary. There's like fantasy in it. It is a number one New York Times bestseller, and I've never heard of it before. I also got Wonder by RJ Palacio, which I already read and I absolutely loved. I did an entire video review for it, and I will leave that link down below. It was fantastic. The last book that I purchased from your recommendations was The Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury. This is about a girl named Twyla, and she is an executioner in a castle. It's kind of like Shatter Me that she has a fatal touch, but she uses it to be an executioner, and I'm guessing it's more fantasy than dystopian like Shatter Me is. Next, I purchased The Fiery Heart by Rochelle Mead, the fourth book in the Bloodline series. I loved the last book, which was The Indigo Spell. I read The Indigo Spell last month, and I loved it. It was my favorite of any of her books so far that I've read, so hopefully this matches that level of amazing. This semester I am in an American literature class so I had to get Mouse by Art Spiegelman. These are graphic novels that obviously have to do with World War II but kind of like Animal Farm, all of the characters are animals. Some of my friends read this in high school and they really really enjoyed it when they read it then, so I am pumped. I bought Two Way Street by Lauren Barnholt. This is one of my friends favorite books, so I decided to finally read it and tell her what I thought about it. This is a contemporary romance about Jordan and Courtney and they are like the perfect couple until he dumps her for a girl that he met on the internet. They decided to go on a road trip before they broke up, but they broke up and they have to go on the road trip anyway. So awkward. Really, really awkward, and I think it's going to be very funny, and it's really short. I also purchased Room by Emma Donahue. I have heard fantastic things, and this was just made into a really good movie, which I have not yet seen. I want to watch it after I read the book. This follows a five-year-old boy named Jack and his mom, who was actually taken seven years ago and has been held captive in a room for that long. Jack is a son of her and her captor. I really have no idea what happens. Also, I hear it's actually terrifying. The last book that I purchased was Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. This has been all around booktube mostly a year ago. People were talking about it, but of course, I am super behind on all of the booktube trends. Harper Price is a main character. 
character, she is a southern belle, and she all of a sudden is sworn to protect this one dude. She absolutely hates him, but she also starts to fall for him. Ha 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 ha. There's also fantasy. She is a paladin, which is an ancient line of guardians, and most likely some action and adventure. I hear it's really funny, and it also looks like a quick read, so I really want to get to it ASAP. Those are all of the books that I got for my birthday. I hope you all enjoyed. Tell me down below what book you think I should read first. Remember to follow me on social media. My links will be down below, and I will talk to you later. Bye!